Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a sit down video for you um, and I thought I would do one on my pregnancy. As many of you know I'm pregnant, uh, for those who don't know, sorry, spoiler. Um, so I am coming towards the end of my second trimester and about to enter my third trimester. And um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of let you know how my early pregnancy and my second trimester went. Um, and just to share my experience with you, perhaps you had something, you've had a similar sort of pregnancy experience or perhaps you've had something completely different. It's so interesting now that I'm pregnant, you know, people love to share their pregnancy experiences with me and it's lovely and I thought I would do the same. And um, yeah, so baby is due on the 31st of August. So I've got another another few months of growing to do. Um, but basically I found out I was pregnant at the start of the year. So um, early in January, I took a test and two little pink lines came up and I was delighted. Um, my partner Phil and I had been trying for just a short time and were just over the moon with it. Um, so like I said, it was early in January. The only symptoms I can say, the only sort of indication that, that I was pregnant, I suppose, was um, I just remember going to the hairdressers and sort of noticing that I was overlapping on my bra a bit so like my boobs were obviously bigger and I sort of to begin with I put that down to the festive period and stuffing my face and you know maybe putting on a bit of weight but then they it didn't take long before they got quite sore and tender as well so that was one of the indications um that I was pregnant but the day that I took the test I was actually um it was I had been to work that day and I was doing a bit of shopping in town, returning some stuff and I was just so tired and just really dragging my feet and I actually was happening, um, I was on my way to my mum and dad's as well that evening for dinner and things and I decided to buy a pregnancy test and I just, it was like burning a hole in my pocket this pregnancy test so I actually took it at my mum and dad's. My Phil wasn't with me at the time, he was out with friends. Um, meeting them for dinner I think it was so it was like I don't know why I took the test at my mum and dad's but I did and two pink lines came up I was totally delighted but I had to wait a few hours then to tell Phil and um, of course it was like the longest few hours but I was just giddy with excitement and whenever he came home and I told him he was just over the moon you know we were both a bit emotional and sort of in shock as well but I mean it's something that we both wanted it wasn't a surprise pregnancy or anything like that so um yeah so that was the first indication bigger boobs and I can say that my boobs haven't stopped growing since <laughs> so uh first trimester yeah out of fortune and bras already went to quite a few um places to get measured quite regularly for my expanding bust I thought I thought I would get maybe bigger boobs sort of right at the end of the pregnancy but for me it's happened straight away. I know a lot of friends that didn't go up any cup sizes or anything um, but yes there was that and then there was a feeling of tiredness throughout the first trimester and poor Phil all he heard was I'm tired and I'm hungry. I wanted to eat quite a lot and I tried to be healthy but like every hour or two I just wanted to eat so I would snack on like celery sticks and cucumber and stuff just because I was also conscious that um, I wanted to, if I was feeling hungry, obviously I wanted to feed the baby because the baby's growing, it's growing vital organs and things like that, but I also wanted to be healthy and I didn't want to be stuffing my face constantly, especially with crap. I didn't want to balloon in weight, so I did try to be um, smart, smart snacking. Um, but thankfully that subsided, that and the tiredness subsided into the second pregnancy, into the second trimester. Second trimester they generally say you start to get your energy back, you start to get that glow about you, you start to feel good and I must say that is very true for my second um, trimester, I felt so good and um, so far I have not had any sickness, no nausea or anything like that so I feel really really fortunate because most people I know do get some sort of um, sickness and some sort of nausea um, but, and if you are experiencing that at the minute they do say that tends to you know wane and go away in the second trimester so but I know that must be such a hard thing to struggle with um, I haven't had any food cravings either a friend of mine said that's probably because I lead quite a balanced diet anyway I mean I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables but I, 
and I also allow myself chocolate and crisps whenever I want it. So it's not as if my body, I don't think my body is lacking anything to crave, if you know what I mean. So I haven't had that. I can't say that I've noticed a difference in my hair or skin or anything. Um, it's not any better or any worse than it usually is. Um, my hair, I'm blessed with thick hair as it is and that's just stayed the same and my skin is generally spot free um, and it's sort of remained that way. I know a lot of people say they get um, pregnancy acne. Other people report feeling like getting, other people report having excellent skin while pregnant and they also talk about, you know, the really thick luscious hair that they get, which is brilliant. Um, but yeah, just nothing really major has changed uh, other than my expanding waistline and my enormous boobs. But yeah, second trimester I've just felt so good. Um, so much so that Phil and I decided to book a holiday and we went to Gran Canaria. Hopefully you caught up on some of my blog posts about that. Um, that was lovely. I, I walked loads on holiday, made sure to stay out of the really hot heat. But thankfully it wasn't really warm. But that was really nice and it was really nice just to spend quality time together before the baby, before the baby decides to come along. Um, but I don't think anything will really prepare us for the arrival of our baby. Um, but we're just trying to enjoy this pregnancy and um, you know really enjoy it together as well. So at around, I think it was at around 18 weeks that I felt little movements in my tummy. So it was I was lying in bed one evening and I felt like I felt a few flutters and then I asked Phil to put his hand on my stomach to see if he could feel it but he couldn't feel anything. I think it was just so such a soft little movement and basically every day since then I have felt the baby move which is the most surreal magical thing you know and um, those movements have got definitely got stronger and more frequent as the weeks have went on and my baby seems to be very active and moving around all the time and by week 20 Phil was able to feel the movements himself which was really nice. In total we've had three scans Um, I was when I went for my first scan I was actually only ten and a half weeks pregnant um, so it was great because then I was able to go back a few weeks later for the official 12 week scan so I got to see the baby twice early on which was really really nice and even at the ten and a half week stage you could see the little baby you know I didn't I wasn't too sure if it would look like a baby but to me it did and that was really nice and then we had the official 12 week scan and I think it was around 30, 13 weeks whenever that happened and everything looked to be everything looked to be good and then a lot of weeks ago just before our holiday we had our 20 week scan which is sort of the scan they test for how it's developing and um, you know, just make sure certain things looking are looking okay and thankfully everything looked to be fine with the baby it seemed to be at the right stage of development it was moving around wriggling around um, which was lovely to see um, the one thing is that I will be going definitely going back for a 34 week scan to check the placement of the placenta because my placenta was low lying at 20 weeks and they need to make sure that that placenta has lifted up so that I can definitely give birth naturally but apparently it is quite a common thing to have a low lying placenta you know quite early on in your pregnancy but towards the end it definitely needs to have lifted so fingers crossed it does because I am very keen to have a natural birth um, but if that's not to be it's not to be you know I think for a lot of women and mummies to be they put a lot of pressure on themselves that they want things to go a certain way and unfortunately you know sometimes it always doesn't go the way that you plan so I am prepared for you know things not going as wonderfully as I hope it will um, all I can say is I hope I follow my mum's footsteps I mean I've had a very similar pregnancy to my mum and that I've had no sickness and no major you know hassles throughout the pregnancy and she also had two very good births with my brother and I and um, give birth naturally and um, and that's and all that. So with regards to the bump size everyone is telling me I'm really neat which is in a way nice to hear but I'm also like wanting 
you know, want to have that proper bump, bump. I want to feel like a pregnant lady and things like that. But at the minute I find some, it is still quite easy to cover it up if I wanted to. When I wear something clingy, obviously, then it's quite noticeable that I'm pregnant. Um, but I still have a fair amount of growing to do. You know, I'm still going to be pregnant until the end, until August time. So um, I may well balloon and expand rapidly in the next few months. So I'll show you what um, my bump currently looks like. Now bear in mind, I've only had breakfast, so by the end of the day, the bump usually increases quite a bit, depending on what I've ate. But um, this is what it's like at the minute. I should have probably worn something a bit more tight fitting. I got this um, t-shirt on holiday, and I got it in a larger size so that it would expand with me. I'm just trying to enjoy being pregnant and try not to worry too much about the future and um, obviously I just cannot wait to see the baby in August or might come in September. They do say that with first pregnancies you tend to run over your date and the baby's a bit late um, but I'm hoping the baby's not too late because um, Phil was a really heavy baby. He was about ten and a half pounds and I was almost nine pounds. So I really don't want to go too overdue because um, I don't want to have an enormous baby on my hands. But again, we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just hoping really that my third trimester goes as well as the second trimester has gone. Obviously, you know, like I say, I'm going to be still growing a lot more. I'm going to definitely feel a lot heavier and I'm going to feel more of a pressure in my stomach and in my pelvis and stuff like that. I'm starting to feel that already. I mean, I sleeping on my side isn't as comfortable um, but I haven't yet um, got the pregnancy pillow that everyone raves about um, sort of to help ease that pressure um, I'm just sort of using a regular pillow to sort of prop up my belly a little bit on my side. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my pregnancy experience. Do let me know if you're a mummy or a mummy to be if it's similar to what you've experienced or really really different. Um, it is interesting to hear other people and what they've experienced. Um, but yeah, just fingers crossed everything goes well for me in the third trimester and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!